All right, so a hypothesis test for a large lambda Poisson. So let's take an example. So x is the number of sales per week, and x follows the Poisson distribution with mean 75. So let's say uh, on a randomly chosen week, uh, there were 18, there were, let's say, 89 sales per week. So uh, the sales were greater than the average. Th that is 75. Now, what we need to do is we need to cal we need to carry out a test uh, at a significance level of two percent, whether our lambda has increased or not. Because uh, on a randomly chosen week, this uh, the the sales were 89, right? And our lambda is 75. So we need to carry out a test at a two percent significance level to see whether our lambda has increased or not. So first of all, let's declare our null and alternate hypothesis. So H naught is that lambda is still 75. The our alternate hypothesis is that lambda has increased. That is, lambda is greater than seventy-five. Now, using central limit theorem, we can easily say that x can follow a normal distribution. It can follow a normal distribution because our lambda is greater than thirty. Our lambda is uh, seventy-five. So. First, we need to find the probabilities of x greater than equals to 89, right? Because 89 is my observed value, and if my critical region is on the right-hand side, uh, we I know that uh, the probability that I need to compare it with uh, com mm -hmm. the probability that I need is uh, x greater than my greater, greater than equals to my observed value all the way to the extreme right. So I need the probability of x greater than equals to 89. But first. I will say that x follows a normal with mean 75 and variance 75 because uh, mean and variance in a Poisson distribution is the same. Uh, so x follows a normal with mean 75 and variance 75. Now I need to find probability of x greater than equals to 89. But because I'm moving from a discrete distribution to a continuous distribution, I need to do a continuity correction. So x greater than equals to 89 can also be written as simply x greater than 80, right? So after continuity correction, this will become probability of x greater than 88.5. So 88.5 is basically my observed value when I uh, uh, when I approximate the Poisson to a normal. So following that, it's the same. Uh, the steps are the same. You find z calculated and you compare it with z critical. So uh, the significance level is two percent, right? So my z critical. is 0.054 so somewhere around here so this becomes my critical region now for my calculation of z calculated so z calc equals to 88.5 that is my observed value after continuity correction minus the mu that is 75 upon standard deviation that is root 75 this value is 1.5588 so that means somewhere over here this is my z calculated the yellow one so th since my z calculated lies in the acceptance region i will accept h not or i will say that uh, the, the lambda or the mean number of sales has not changed. So this is how you, cal you carry out a hypothesis test for a large lambda Poisson. So yeah, uh, if your lambda is greater than 30, you can easily approximate it to 
a Poisson to a normal distribution. In the normal distribution, the mean and the variance will be the same as lambda because in a lambda in a Poisson distribution, your mean and the variance is lambda. And you will do continuity correction because you are moving from a discrete distribution to into a, a con continuous distribution. So after after uh, continuity correction, your observed value becomes 88.5. 88.5 minus mu, that is 75 upon root 75, gives you your Z calculated. Your Z critical is based on your significance level, and we know that our Z calculated lies in the acceptance region. So simply say accept H not and write a two line conclusion. Uh, that we do not have enough evidence to conclude that the mean number of sales has increased.